Paul, how are you? Oh, good. Uh, thanks for having me, Connor. Yeah, no problem. It's uh, it's probably uh, been a while since we've last seen each other. I guess you were doing the, uh, the we did a Tron riff maybe two years ago. Yeah, yeah, those were the days, huh? Exactly. But like in the meantime, since then, it, it certainly it's you know it must be a pretty exciting time uh, for you, uh, Paul Saborin. You're constantly touring. You you've got a popular podcast. Your Wootstocks are selling out across the country. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's been a pretty good ride. I, I won't deny it, but it, you know, we're just uh, you know, I, I consider myself very lucky uh, that we get to do what we love uh, for a living. You know, performing for the fans and, and having fun and, and screwing around and such. It's uh, it's a living, I guess. Great. Well, we'll we'll get into all that stuff um, just in a minute or two. But first, I wanted to talk about sort of something from the past, uh, how you got here, I guess you could say. Um, okay. And it, it's it's related to to the whole Wikipedia thing. Is you were you were before Paul and Storm in a, another music group. It was called Da Vinci's Notebook. Yeah, uh, Storm and I were half of. Uh, we were an acapella uh, band a quartet called Vinci's Notebook. We started out. It was just sort of a hobby group that did cover songs. And over the course of a number of years, back in the the mid late nineties, we evolved into sort of a a, a comedy. Uh, acapella group that did original uh, funny music, allegedly funny music, I guess. And that <laughs> group was together about uh, almost twelve years, I think, or so. Wow. Well, the way it ties in um, to the to the Wikipedia podcast is because uh, someone called attention to a fun little fact on the Da Vinci's Notebook Wikipedia page, which I guess is up and running. I don't know if you've ever looked at it. I've peaked, I yeah. guess. I'm, I'm pretty narcissistic, so I try and keep tabs on any mention of me anywhere. Okay, well, you might have seen this already then. It says, uh, quote, Enormous penis is often wrongly assumed to be a Frank Zappa song. So that was... That was that was a song of yours, I guess. Yeah, that was actually our uh, not to not to you know make a bad pun, but that was probably our our biggest hit, our one of our most popular songs, uh, back in the day. Enormous uh, penis. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, and uh, yeah, apparently some uh, it got on on different sharing networks and on I think maybe even on YouTube it would occasionally get listed. Somebody thought it was a Frank Zappa tune. What are you going to do? <laughs> Suppose did... if you're going to be compared to somebody, I guess being compared to Frank Zappa is, is good enough, right? Sure. So were, were, were people ever coming up to you and, and, and thinking that Enormous Penis was a Frank Zappa song? or Because it says often. I'm just curious about how often. Uh, well, uh, no, nah, uh, often is a relative term, I guess. I, we, it's not like we got a lot of people you know, a stream of people at every show saying, why did you cover that Frank Zappa song? I think maybe once or twice somebody might have come up and, and asked if, if we'd stolen it from him or if we were covering it or mm -hmm. something like that. But, All right. So, um, but maybe, uh, do you know that if Frank Zappa songs will, would then be ever mistaken for enormous penis? Or is it like one of those sort of squares a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't necessarily a square type of thing? Um. Well, I <laughs> like, you know, that like I, I enormous know. penis sounds like a Frank Zappa song. Uh, but just because it's a Frank Zappa song, it wouldn't necessarily mean that it sounds like enormous penis. I know where you're going. I just I, I don't really I wouldn't have any way of knowing. That's not like anybody ever. I, I don't know. Okay. They, have, they have they never talked to us about it. But all right. Well, um, let's let's move along. And uh, one of my one of the things that I was when I, I was blown away when I realized that I had met the guys that had done this thing that I really liked was the song that you did in Da Vinci's Notebook for that Homestar Runner cartoon. Oh, yeah, that was uh, that was a real honor. That was uh, that was a lot of fun uh, doing that. That was that was great to be a part of of that website in any way. Yeah, it was. And it was about the, the cheat. Yes, that's correct. And then the song's name was Enormous Penis. No, uh, oh. no, that was another song. This I song my was facts uh, wrong, I guess. I... Yeah, this song was called "The Ballad of the Sneak." Huh. Yeah, uh, it's sort of an, a barbershoppy, old-timey, uh, tin pad alley type song about. Uh, they they had sort of an an old-time versions of all the characters on the website, and this huh. this was for the old-timey version of the cheat called "The Sneak." That sounds fun. Was, yeah. Was the Ballad of the Sneak ever mistaken for a Frank Zappa song? Um, no. <laughs> Was no, it ever I, was I, it ever mistaken for enormous penis? No, 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 uh, no, no. Ne uh, next question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is this is a lot of fun. Um, in Paul and Storm, you guys have uh, I, I guess it's a running gag, uh, a catchphrase kind of where you say uh, something something is the name of my blank tribute band. Like you'd say, uh, 
Uh, William Howard Taft's Bathtub is the name of my uh, They Might Be Giants tribute band. Right, exactly. It's. I mean, we didn't invent the joke, but we've kind of made it our thing in the last couple of years where just sort of you, any sort of almost random phrase uh, you try and find if it's got a, some sort of connection with with a band of some some sort of type like your your example was a really good one there or you know uh you know hanging out my underwear is my lady gaga cover band or something <laughs> like yeah it's it's like i've seen it really sort of catch on like it's people are referencing it on twitter and um it, it's got to feel you know pretty good to have have uh your work picked up on like that you know people yeah first... no it's it, it yeah absolutely it it's neat you know anything uh, like i say it's not like we invented the joke but we're happy to sort of take credit for it people are sort of uh you know they, they they copy us whenever they they come up with their own versions and such you know it's again it's flattering to to know that that people are sort of jumping on uh a joke that 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 you to some extent originated it feels nice you know the fan base so i guess it would i i just i i should ask i have to is by far the one you hear the most often um enormous penis is the name of my frank zappa tribute band Come on, Connor. What, uh, yeah. Really? No. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, it's not. All right. All right. Um, so covered that. Uh, you've you guys, Paul and Storm, you've toured uh, not only America, but you've, you've been to other countries as well, taking the act on the road. Yeah, we're uh, we're actually going to be in um, we're going to be in Canada at the end of this month. We've been to the UK a couple of times to uh, Ireland and, and Scotland and uh, Great Britain. And we're actually going to, uh, this June, we're going to be in Amsterdam, which is the first time I'll have been on sort of the, oh, wow. uh, been there when we did a, a long while ago, we did a corporate thing in France. So we've gotten around a bit. Yeah. I wouldn't call us, you know, globe trotters necessarily, but we, we absolutely have gotten around. No, it's a great list of places. That's, um, do you find that in those other countries, uh, more or less 